Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, Topaz Labs updated Gigapixel AI to version 5.5.0. I think this is a rather significant update, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the new features. Now, I have Gigapixel AI open now. Of course, it works as a standalone product. It will read RAW files. It also works as a plugin for most of the popular applications, including Lightroom and Photoshop. Today, I'm just going to use it as a standalone uh, product. So I'm going to click Browse. And on my desktop, I have a JPEG. Now, I mentioned it reads RAW files, but it has a new feature will it, where it will enlarge a very compressed, that's the way they put it, JPEG. So I'm going to open this up. This is a very compressed JPEG. It is a tight crop at 1,080 pixels uh, square, but it's also uh, highly compressed. It was saved from Lightroom with a quality of 30. So it's like, you know, really, really compressed. And even just glancing at it right now, here's the original version on the left, and there is the new um, gigapixel rendition of the version, you could see how it brought back tons of resolution uh, into the image, or tons of definition, I should say, in the image. And this is at 2x, uh, so that would bring it up at 2160 by 2160. Now, let's go through some of the different um, AI models. First of all, it has the standard AI model, and if I hover over this, uh, you could see that best choice across a variety of images. This is the AI model that you'd most often use, you know, on your raw files that you heavily crop, on TIFFs that you heavily crop, and so on. Um, this is the same AI model that was in that was in v, uh, previous versions of Gigapixel AI, but they did tweak it. They said they made it a little better. And I've been messing around with Gigapixel uh, AI all day and they did make it a little better. Uh, so it seems to work much faster and it is better. Next to that, they have one called Lines, and this is previously called Architectural. It's the same thing, but again, they did tweak it. They made it a little better, but if you're used to the Architectural, if that's the, one you, the model you often used in previous versions of Gigapixel AI, you'll wanna use Lines. It's really pretty much the same thing, just tweaked, runs faster, and is a little better. So this works is great for architectural cityscapes, topography, and any image with thick lines, they say. The next is art and computer graphics, or art in CG, as they put it. Uh, this is um, best for an image that isn't a photograph. It's computer graphic, art, drawings, or scans, and that's what you may want. Next to that is low resolution. It was previously called compressed. And this is best for images with blocky compression artifacts. Uh, this is if you did have a JPEG, maybe something that you downloaded from the internet and has a lot of JPEG artifacts. You run it through this and it should clean that up nicely. And then this new uh, model, very compressed, best for images with lots of compression artifacts. For example, images that were saved at a small size, scanned images, and old digital images. Now, you notice as I'm hovering over all these, uh, these tool tips are popping up. You do have the option, you can see right here, to disable model tool tips. You can click on that, and then when you hover, that won't reappear. If you do want that to come back for any reason after you disabled it, go up to Preferences. Preferences are under the Gigapixel AI menu on a Mac, and I'm not sure where it is on a PC. If someone in the comments section below could mention where it is on the uh, Windows version of Gigapixel AI, I'd appreciate it. But if you go down to uh, Preferences, you could see that uh, there's an option, Disable Model Tooltips. Right now I have that on, meaning I'm disabling it. It's kind of like a double negative. Uh, but if you want it to come back, just switch that. So uh, right here, uh, you could see now each of these models have auto settings or you can manually come in and move the sliders and just with the um, auto settings it looks great um, hopefully you could see it in the video but the statue that is in the middle of mirror lake that's what this is called um, you can see there's not much you know detail to be had or seen in the statue itself and you can see it's much bad uh, better here 
the individual droplets from the fountain, you could see them much uh, better here. They're way more defined. So let's just say I like this. I would click Save Image. And then it comes back and you have the option to save it as a JPEG or a TIFF or PNG or DNG. Save it as a JPEG. I'll max the quality out at 10. And this is at a, this mirror lake is actually at a cemetery in Buffalo called Forest Lawn. So I'll leave, and I had it called Forest Lawn. So I'll leave it there. And uh, color profile, I'm going to save it as sRGB. And I'm going to save it to uh, the desktop and just save, just like that. And you'll see that it goes through and saves it. They've um, improved the speed, uh, and it is considerably faster. Uh, as you can see, it already is done. And I could close the panel, and I am done. And this is it now, the larger version of the image. And that's it. So Gigapixel AI version 5.5.0, I think it is a significant improvement. As I mentioned, I've been using it all day. I've tried it with various images. I tried it with RAW files. I tried it with TIFF files. I tried, tried, even tried it with a, um, a drawing that my son's girlfriend did, uh, like an, a digital art thing she did. And it did a great job on that. So I'm pretty impressed with it. In the description below this video, I'll have links uh, to it. You could download the fully working free trial. I also have a discount code that will save you a few dollars if you decide to buy it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.